Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about and experiencing some of the craziest and the coolest things animals do pretty much on a daily basis. So let's get to it, find out what these animals love to do. Right. Okay. Okay. So Number 10. Turtles have favorite colors. There's more to it. Turtles rely primarily on sight, on prim primarily on sight, finding food, mates, and shelter. In fact, turtles are so dependent on their sight that when they lose it, they literally cannot survive. Many animals can get by with an, in, with an engorged sense of smell or taste, but not the turtle. As such, turtles seem to gravitate towards certain colours, such as red, orange and yellow. Mostly, they try to eat this colour first. So if you're in the business of luring turtles, maybe you want to try some tomatoes or something, in, or something cinema, similar in colour. At any rate, given the choice, the turtle will gravitate towards these colours first. Might try it. Might try it. Number nine. Animals can commit suicide. Unfortunately, like us people, some animals just can't handle life anymore. Or so it would seem. There are an, um, an incredibly high number of mass animal deaths. Most of, of the ones we record are believed to be mass suicide and many date back to the 1800s. When people started wondering why in the hell a bunch of stuff, why in the hell, why in the hell a bunch of animals would jump off a cliff, there's, there's a bridge in Scotland where dogs seem to want to leap from and there are cases of birds committing suicide and injury. It's crazy. It doesn't seem to be limited to a certain species of breed. There have been counts of squids, shrimps, and whales washing up in mass on shore to die for no reason. Cows and sheep who leap from cliffs by the dozens, and many more. Scientists are perplexed, but most believe conditions in the climate or atmosphere play well in these tragic situations. That's crazy. That is, that's, that's a sad thing. That's a very sad thing. Number eight. Cows eat facing the north or south pole. That's what. That's interesting. When I see a cow, oh, I'm like, oh yeah, that's north or south, pretty much. Speaking of cows, did you know they they eat only when facing north or south, always, every single damn time. Google Earth has led to many discoveries, but none more bizarre, perhaps, than the realization that cows always face one of the uh, magnetic poles when they eat. No one really knows why for sure, but like many animals, cows seem to have a magnetic sense of which way is north. When they stand and eat, they apparently feel the sense to align their body facing magnetic north or south. There are also counts of power, power lines to being too close and screwing with, the innate, with this innate sense. No one really knows why, but maybe that's not the right question. Maybe we should be asking if anyone cares. Number seven. Flamingos eat upside down. As if being a giant orange or pink bird wasn't cool enough. Flamingos, those wonderfully long-necked birds, can only eat when their head is upside down. Why? So they're going to go... You're gonna eat this, man. You're gonna eat this. That's what they're gonna do. Mm -hmm. That'd be crazy, man. This is crazy. Why? Who the hell knows? Perhaps it wasn't a mean joke, because having an ob obnoxiously long neck and legs doesn't make one self-conscious enough. We might make as might as well make them eat with their face upside down. At any rate, it seems physically impossible for a, for a flamingo to eat 
with his head right side up. No word yet on if some brave, brave scientists have funded has funded a grant to strap these creatures down and force feed them to see if their biology works when at right. Number six. Crocodiles eat stones. I won't want to be stoned there. At least we can explain this orbital fixation. Crocodiles will routinely eat stones, but they at least have a very good reason. It helps them swim. While a crocodile's, crocodile's stomach can break down hearted, hearty turtle shell, the acid isn't quite strong enough to destroy the stone. Some crocodiles will, will swallow stone backs, in, but most do it because it gives them ballast, which helps them helps when they submerge themselves. As if being a fierce meat eating machine, it isn't enough. We now have to worry about these beasts figuring out better ways to swim. It only taken a few million years to perfect this tactic. Let's hope it, it takes that long for them to figure out how to drive a car. <laughs> Driving down the road. <laughs> See this alligator. Like, mm -mm, hell no. Nah. Number five. Female ferrets are literally dying to mate. Ah. Dating is difficult, but for the ferret, it's a life altering experience. Female ferrets that go into heat and don't find a mate are so traumatized by the rejection, or so we assume, that they just then just they, they just up and die. That's right, if the ferret doesn't get herself laid, she just kills over and calls it quits. Wow. Talk about pressure to, pressure to perform. On the plus side, if you're a male ferret out on the town for the night, or the odds of you going home alone are ridiculously low. Number four. There ex they exist immortal jellyfish. What? Wow. Imagine living in a world where you grow up and reach sexual maturity. Eager for a little fun, you decide you're not quite ready for a hectic life of online dating, expensive dinners, and unfulfilled sexual promises. So you organically modify your body type and revert back to being a Lego eating toddler. Hard to believe? Well, there's a species of jellyfish called Teretopsis nutricula. Great pronunciation, I loved it, loved it. That can do just that. With just a bit of transdifferentiation, this wondrous creature can back turn back time, making it essentially immortal. Seems like a pretty pretty cool gig. Pretty interesting stuff. Shocking stuff actually. Number three. Dolphins brains work while they sleep. Hmm. How am I going to catch that fish tomorrow? I saw around the corner by the coral. <laughs> In the sleep. Again, at least this one makes sense. When a dolphin sleeps, apparently only half of its brain sleeps with it. So what's the other half doing? Actually, something very useful, it seems. No, it's not figuring out the mysteries of organic chemistry or plotting some awful retribution on human beings for polluting the ocean. It makes sure the dolphin comes up for air while it sleeps so it doesn't drown. That's not the only pr pretty useful, but also awesome. Hold on, I'll just take a nap. Don't worry, my brain won't let me drown. Said every dolphin everywhere. It's like if you got up at 2am and made a McDonald's run because your body was demanding food but never woke up. <laughs> uh, number two. Horned lizards can squirt blood from their eyes. That's crazy that you're just holding it, then it just goes. What the hell, man? Here's a fun defense mechanism. Horde lizards, when threatened, increase the blood flow to their eyes and shoot a stream of blood out of their eye sockets at their enemies. Not only is this gross, but it's also highly effective. Oddly enough, the blood isn't poisonous or deadly. 
it's just alarming and confusing as hell, which is totally understandable because which one of us would, wouldn't be shocked if a fry fish doing blood shot out of someone's eyes at us, for real. It's utterly spectacular and seems to work very well. Let's just hope we don't, we humans don't figure this one out because we're growth in us echo snuff as it is. Ugh. <sighs> Number one, tarantulas can throw their hair. <sighs> they can throw their hair? So you're, you're just chilling, everything's cool, everything's cushy, and then bang! Oh, you take my hair! Take it! Take it! For real? <laughs> yeah! Apparently, being a apparently being a scary spider isn't enough. While we don't doubt that even the tarantula has enemies, it's funny to think that this large creepy arachnid would need anything more than a stern look to ward off enemies. But apparently it does. When some animals animal is brave enough to come after this large hairy spider, it does the most logical thing possible. It tears the hairs of its own legs and holds them. Uh, it's a tiger. And it works. The hair is relatively sticky and causes problems for those trying to eat this beastly looking spider. Especially if it gets in the eyes. While most humans seem to be deathly afraid of spiders, the tarantula is actually rather defenseless and dies easily. Especially if you're knocked from a high perch. Not knocked from a high perch. Porch, whatever. We, we, we guess this hair tossing helps since the species has lived on, though it seems re re relatively ineffective to us. It's crazy. Tranquilers decide to throw the hair, so you could just be chilling, chilling like over there in the corner, and just looking at him. And then it goes, eat some hair, pow! For real, like, you have to be Matrix, like. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, hope you guys got some educational and creepily weird stuff in your brains for you to think about when you confront a tarantula or, you know, anything like that. Which I hope it don't happen because I will die. Fall off the planet Earth. For real. I can't deal with no kind of spider. I can't deal with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe today to become a grenade bro as we are awesome that there's no YouTube army better than us. So subscribe to build it more. Thanks guys for watching. Tune in for tomorrow's video. Peace out grenade.